Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Mystic's Heart. And uh, Gabriel uh, just doesn't want to leave my lap at the moment. So um, it's me and Gabriel this morning. We just got done chasing his brother around the house, Merlin. <laughs> so we're a little winded and a little windy, but but here we are. And, you know, poor Merlin at 15 years old, he's become something of a Mr. Magoo. So Gabriel and I went one way and Merlin, well, apparently he decided he wanted to go another way. So uh, Gabriel and I were just out in the forest finding Merlin and we did find him. <laughs> so here we are. And uh, I guess he just wanted to help tell the story this morning. <clears throat> so, wow, what a way to begin a day, huh? <laughs> oh, I love my critters. Hey, Ellen, it's good to see you. Yeah, so we're kind of on the fly right about now. <laughs> Ooh, goodness. Okay, we'll have a little uh, wakalopi this morning. Good morning, Carla Jo. I just have to say, <laughs> yeah, okay, Rob, you know how he is. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, goodness. Oh, funny. Yeah, so, um, yeah, he's just kind of like clingy today, especially after nearly, you know, losing his brother there for um, half a minute. <laughs> so, oh, my, yeah, I'm always clingy, too. Yeah. Well, you know, when I always say I'm kind of like running an animal geriatric society around this house, and that's okay. I love them all. But, uh, you know, it's amazing how slow. I mean, Merlin can't see, he can't hear, but he can disappear like that. This is astounding to me. One minute he's there, the next minute, poof, he's gone. So anyway, uh, we're going to dedicate this show to my, my birthday friend, Kelly Spencer. It's her birthday tomorrow. So, Kelly, happy birthday almost to you. Right. So happy birthday, my dear friend. All right. Carla Jo, your class this weekend at the School of Sacred Studies was outstanding. Outstanding. Out, out of this world. We had so much fun. Thank you for being here. Good morning, Mila from Finland. Hey, there's a place on my bucket list is Finland. It's one of those places I've always wanted to go, Finland. It just seems to me that it's such a beautiful country, beautiful people. Yeah. What a beautiful thing. So we are going to begin with the birthday girl this morning. And Kelly, birthday girl, it's a little message. It's a little teaching from the hippogriff. The hippogriff is uh, a very potent mythological creature. Right? <laughs> yeah, let's go to Finland, Kel. I would love to go to Finland. Do not allow your dreams to die. That is your birthday message, Kelly. I'm going to read the whole card to you, birthday girl. Rather than continue to rescue others, perhaps it is time to rescue yourself, your hopes, your passions, and your peace of mind, Kelly Spencer, are every bit as important as they are for those around you. While it's a great good thing to assist the ones we love, it is a slow death to our spirit that occurs when we spend so much time in doing so that we actually deny life to our own desires and dreams. It's time to bring the magic back to life, Kelly. It's Kelly's time. Do not allow your hopes and dreams to die. So it's all about bringing them to life. Right here we are. In the Northern Hemisphere, it is spring. In some places, it's a snowy spring. We've avoided that so far, for which I'm very grateful. Mila, our friend over there in Finland, the beautiful country of Finland. This is a little message for you. Oh, it is the angel Salafiel. Salafiel. Salafiel is the angel of prayer. Salafiel is an angel that says, thank you for making prayers on behalf of another. And thank you, Mila, for being the answer to a prayer 
for those who are in need. My thoughts are prayers, let them be loving and kind, says Salafiel. Salafiel thanks you for those times that you have made prayers on behalf of another and for those times that you have been an answer to a prayer for someone in need. You, your life, and your purpose as a light bearer are a prayer and expression upon Grandmother Earth. Beautiful. Just beautiful. <laughs> All right. Well, you know what, Carla Jo, classes are one of those things that can just ebb and flow, but they're always what they're, ex they're just supposed to be. Yeah. <laughs> Kelly says, yeah, no beating around the bush. That's right. Tomorrow night on my show, Exploring Sacred, I'm going to be talking about making room for spirit. And uh, making room for spirit in our lives and in all aspects of our lives. Right? You are very, very welcome. It's good to have you, Mia, in the show, at the show at this time. Jane Joubert, good morning. Rochelle, good morning. Angie, Angie Town, good morning. <laughs> Thank you to everyone who has liked and shared the show. I do appreciate that. I always get asked, Denise, why do you not post where we can get these cards? So I'm going to do that right now. The mysticsheart.com, where you will see the collaboration between the temple within, that'd be me, and my dear friend David Fix at Hearth Productions. Together we are the Mystics Heart. So, Angie. Angie Town. This one is for you. Oh, it's the Firebird. It's the Firebird today, Angie. Do not be afraid. Be alive. Do not be afraid. Be alive. Yeah. The Firebird represents immortal light, that light within, the light that animates everything that brings all things to life. And the firebird reminds us that we are immortal, that we are eternal, changing only in shape and form throughout the ages. And for me, whenever I begin to think about being so ensconced in being human, and then I take a moment to remember, oh, but remember, Dana, this is just one aspect of the go around. This is one lifetime in what I believe to be a flow of many lifetimes. And I also happen to believe that they're all happening concurrently. And when I really begin to think about the vastness of who we are as souls having a human journey, it really puts things into perspective for me. So do not be afraid, Angie Town. Be alive is the message for you as we move into spring. Okay, here we go. Hey, Holly Hagen. All right, what's Nikki? Oh, yeah. Oh, Kelly, while you're here, just a little side note that you will be receiving your birthday gift when I see you uh, for the Catherine Skaggs weekend. I can't mail it. I really don't want to mail it. So uh, you will be receiving that here just so you don't think that I forget your birthday tomorrow. I didn't. In fact, I've been working on something pretty, pretty amazing for you. And it can't be mailed. Okay. All right. Nikki. That's right, Angie. It is time to get fired up. Geez, sometimes when we come out of winter, isn't it true? We can come out of winter and it feels just like our butt is dragging. And then spring happens and says, fire up, people. It's time to blossom and bloom. <laughs> come out of that den. Come out of that hiding. Let's get it together here. Yeah. All right. So here we are. Okay. Nikki. And if you haven't seen some of the classes that are coming up, you know, there is a group page on Facebook called the Temple Within School of Sacred Studies. 
and lots of the events are listed there, but also on my website, deniseiwana.com. All right. And did I see Coach Didi is in the house? Good morning, Coach Didi. Hey, Cheryl. Morning, Margaret. Okay, Nikki, it's the Sunface Kachina. Sunface Kachina, the life bringer, who says, stand in the light. Stand in the light of who you are. That's what the Sunface Kachina teaches us. Stand in the light of who you truly are. Bring your passions to life. That's right. My life and the calling of my soul are dedicated to the light. Sunface Kachina. I always encourage everybody who tunes in on Tuesday mornings to spend a little time. Hello, Ryan. Spend a little time with these symbolic, what do I want to say, archetypes. Right? We work with archetype, archetypal beings on Tuesday, the teachings of the archetypal beings. And so it really is Tuesdays are about education and some insight because it is amazing how sometimes the archetypal teachings, the esoteric teachings are in alignment <clears throat> with what we have going on or what it is that we need to hear at any given time. So there we are. <laughs> Hi, Ryan. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Another eight to ten inches of snow. Oh, my heavens. <clears throat> okay, well, sometimes the cards literally fly out of the deck, and that's what just happened. So I need to pick those up for just a moment. Excuse me, everybody. It's always amazing to me when that happens, and yet not. <clears throat> So here we go. Hello, Kelly Ann. You're welcome, Nikki. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Coach Dee Dee. Oh. From the Mysteries of Ancient Egypt deck, it is the Blue Lotus, Denise. The blue lotus card is all about the teaching of the lotus. When we see the lotus on papyrus or hieroglyphs, the papyrus represents emergence, represents the dawning of a new day. At night, I rest in the arms of the divine. Each morning, I awaken and greet the new day with love. The teaching of the Blue Lotus reminds us of the importance of ceremony or positive thoughts, conscious thoughts, when we wake up in the morning and when we go to sleep, either during the day, in the evening, whenever it is that we take rest. The Blue Lotus says we are always emerging. Either we are emerging into the dream time, the nocturnal dream time when the body is resting, or we are emerging into the daytime dream time when the body is awake. Or we are emerging into meditation, contemplation beyond the veil. Wherever we are taking our consciousness, we need to be consciously aware. Hello, Mr. Holt, Tom Holt, <laughs> Dad Holt. Hi, Tom. One of my favorite people in the whole gigantic universe of universes. <clears throat> okay. Oh, thank you. Stinky thinking that you are spot on. You are spot on, Ryan, about that. Stinky thinking. Yeah. The Lotus says as we emerge into anything, into our thoughts, prayer, contemplation, dream time, whatever it is, nighttime, to be consciously aware that we are emerging into because we we are. Katie Battle. Oh, this doesn't get card. This card doesn't get pulled very often. It's Horus from the Mysteries of Ancient Egypt Empowerment Deck. Horus represents the heart. You are welcome, Dee Dee. 
represents the heart and represents deep breath, Katie. It's about consciously breathing and breathing into your heart, filling your heart with positive thoughts, nourishing thoughts, nourishing breath and also exhaling from the heart, anything that no longer belongs there, anything that is not nourishing, anything that is not feeding your soul, the consciousness of your heart in a good way. Like the vast expanse of the Milky Way, also known as the Wolf's Trail, right, the Trail of Anubis, that unites sky with earth, Horus is calling you to balance your heart and your mind thus building a bridge between heaven and earth. A wonderful exercise in doing that is breathing into your heart and exhaling, breathing into your mind and exhaling, and visualizing a bridge of energy, a conscious bridge of energy that is feeding both and bridging them. Yeah. Have a good one, Coach Didi. You are welcome, Katie. Conscious breathing is so very, very, very important. Hey, Kathy Skirmerhorn. Good to see you. Margaret Marchwinski. This one is for you. It's the Wampus Cat. The Wampus Cat teaching comes from Native North America, down by the Carolinas, they say. And the Wampus Cat says this, your life is transforming in beautiful ways. Allow the transformation to happen. Sometimes we try to direct the transformation of our thoughts, of our being, whatever it happens to be that is in a time of transformation. The Wampus Cat says, just allow. Listen to the voice of your soul. Connect with spirit each and every day and allow the transformation to happen. Yes. And I love the mantra of the Wampus Cat. My, the experiences of my life do not happen to me. They happen for me. The Wampus Cat teaching is similar <clears throat> to the teaching about earth and sky in that the Wampus Cat teaching says the deeper your roots, right, the higher your branches. In other words, <clears throat> The deeper you are able to descend is reflected by the heights to which you are then able to ascend. Good morning, Rochelle. Transformation is at hand. Allow. Kelly, this one is for you. It is the raven. Love the teaching of the raven. Here in the enchanted forest, we have Hugin and Moonin. And I believe we have Hugin or Moonin Jr., because I was out walking uh, with the boys this morning and I could hear a baby raven. They have a particular uh, cry. It's very, very sweet. The raven says this, I seek and find the light in all things. I share my light with the world. You are welcome, Mar Margaret. You are very welcome. <clears throat> Those that walk with the energy or the power of the raven have the ability, the strength, the courage, the stamina to go into places sometimes that angels would fear to tread. And in doing so, they bring the light or the teaching or the wisdom of what they have found, of what they've learned to the light of day, and they share it with others. They share it with others. The raven is potent, potent medicine. It most certainly is. Oh, and that reminds me, everybody, all of you. Hey, Lady Hawk, Che <clears throat> uh, This This weekend in Carla Jo's magnificent class, I mentioned that I will be pouring inipi, a springtime inipi, and I, uh, I spoke incorrectly. I said that I would be pouring inipi on Sunday, the 15th at 730, when in all actuality, I will be pouring inipi uh, the Lodge on Saturday evening at 7.30 for those of you that would like to attend. So 7.30 in EP. All right. 
Here we are. Jane Jew Bear. Oh. It's the angel Yophiel. Yophiel's mantra is this God and I are one. For me, the mantra God and I are one, Creator and I are one. Wakantanka and I are one, <clears throat> is a wonderful mantra that brings me to my center. When things are feeling wonky, when I'm out of balance, creator and I are one. Also known as ecstatic union. It is also a reminder that our birth, our being is absolutely precious. This is a reminder to you, Jane, that your life, your being, your light is precious and that you and the creator are one. For those of you that have these cards, either on your smartphone or your tablet, or you have the, you know, the physical cards in your possession, I would ask you, while we're still under this beautiful blue moon energy, to maybe utilize the mantras that are contained on these cards for the next few days as we get through and work through Mercury retrograde. <clears throat> there we are, Sonia. It's a date. Good. It will be good to see you. Sonia, this one is for you. Oh, it's the buffalo, Tatanka. Tatanka Oyate, the Buffalo Nation. My life is a gift from the creator, is the mantra of the buffalo. All aspects of our life are a gift from the creator. It is a reminder to you, Sonia, your life, who you are, is a gift. It is a gift to your soul, who is expressing itself on the earth plane, and it is also a gift to all of us that know you and get to spend time with you. And Billy Mills took it one step further. He said, yes, my life is a gift from the creator. What I do with my life is my gift back to the creator. I really like that. Buffalo. I would do some meditation time with Tatanka. Just saying. <clears throat> All right, Kathy Skirmerhorn. Kathy, this one is for you. It is the angel IML, IML. IML represents change. IML represents taking the leap of faith, the leap of faith. IML reminds us that everything happens in divine timing, that everything is divine, Everything is imbued with the love and the light of the creator. And also reminds us that when we take the leap of faith, the net of love always appears. So this is a message for you that says, take the leap of faith. The net of love is appearing as it always does. And it holds us in a place to grow. Change brings the possibility and the opportunity for beautiful, beautiful growth. There you go. Hello, Janice Francisco. Lady Hawk, Cheta Weon. This one is for you, and it is Wombly. <clears throat> the Eagle Nation. It's about soaring above, seeing from greater heights, taking a look at things from the eagle perspective. The eagle says, I see the beauty and the perfection of the great spirit of Wakantanka in all things. Boy, I'll tell you, sometimes in life, isn't it just true? You can sit back and think, will somebody please show me where the beauty and the perfection is in that? Because right now, I just am not seeing any. I don't understand it. And then we can go into prayer, meditation, contemplation time. And ask to see things from the higher perspective, from the bigger picture. Right? Eagle helps us do that. Eagle on eagle's wings, right? We rise above. We are lifted up so that we can see. And sometimes we're just called to soar above all of the baloney. Right? 
Sometimes we just have to soar above the baloney and not squawk on about it, but just soar above it. Right? There you go. All right. Hey, Robin McCarty. Good to see you. Okay, Rob. Rob, it is the rattlesnake. Rattlesnake teaching. Rattlesnake teaching says this, my medicine is a unique gift from the creator. <clears throat> I use it in a good way. I use it in a good way. Snake represents medicine. It represents our gifts and talents. And the snake always says, remember, we must use our gifts and talents in a good way. And says the rattlesnake, Rob, it is time for you to come out from underneath the rock and shine. Be fully present to who you are. Come out from the rock. It's okay to do so. Come out into the light of day, as they say. <laughs> All right, let me just take a little look at the stream here. Sometimes I get going and um, good morning, Delgadillo. Good to see you. And thank you all for the nice reminders that you would like a card. Sometimes I get in the flow of things and there are things going on and I do forget. All right, Ryan. This one is for you, Ryan. It is the angel Asmodel. Those of you born under the sign of Taurus, like my half side, the love of my life, Todd Francisco, who is a Taurus, Asmodel is one of your angelic companions. Ryan, all things happen in, divining, in divine timing. I live in the present moment. More than anything, this is a card that says to you, stay on your path. Keep moving forward one step at a time. This is a positive card of affirmation saying divine timing is present. Be present to the divine timing. You're on the right path. One step at a time. Keep moving forward on your current path. Good morning, Jacqueline Coster. Oh, good. Cheryl Colley. Good morning, Cheryl. Your little sweetheart. Good to see you. You're welcome, Rob. <clears throat> Okay. <laughs> All right. I love Tuesday mornings. I love Tuesday mornings. All right. Cindy Lynn. It is Yehudia. I love Yehudia. On this day, I honor my birth and my purpose for being, which is love. Yeah. This Yehudia card is one of my favorites. You want to know why? Because Yehudia says, celebrate your life. Celebrate your life, all of the crap a diddle, all of the beauty, and everything in between. The high highs, the low lows, because you're doing it. You're doing it. You're doing life. Doing life is not easy. <clears throat> There's a lot of joy, passion, all those wonderful things. And at the same time, even in and amongst all of the joy and the laughter, it ain't easy. Celebrate your life, Cindy Lynn. The universe celebrates you. We celebrate you. Celebrate your life. There you go. Holly Hagen. Holly. It's the Yeti. I love this card. I love the Yeti. Love Sasquatch, Bigfoot. You can say it. Uh, I love those beasties from the inner planes, the ultra terrestrial planes, the Yeti. Here is your message, Holly Hagen. It's lonely at the top. It is lonely at the top. I am never, ever alone. Spirit is with me always and in all ways. See, the thing is, sometimes in the pursuit of our goals and dreams and our spiritual purpose, it can feel really lonely. We were having great conversation on Easter. Easter, I did what I always do. I cooked like I was feeding a whole army because frankly, between Matthew, Colton, and Dane, and Todd, it is like feeding an army of men. 
<laughs> and then all of the ladies, Elise and Amber and Janice and myself. And I always have a houseful for the holidays, always have. And because I've always been the mom that has like a hundred kids over. I was that mom. Love it. Love, love. So I still get to be that mom cooking like crazy, having great meal and conversation with all of uh, the young adults in my life, my kids, about, you know, sometimes in the pursuit of our dreams, in the pursuit of our soul's work, it can feel really lonely. Some of you are aware via Facebook of my daughter-in-law Amber's pursuit of creating Soul Shine Wildlife Rehabilitation Center. She has the 501c3. Dane and Colton this weekend flattened the land, got it all ready for the new building. And already, you know, they're, they're getting into the groove of rehabilitating animals and talking about how a lot of people don't understand the pursuit of wanting to rehabilitate wildlife. Why would you do that when you're a professional banker? Shouldn't you just be a professional banker? Because that's what Amber is. She's in private banking. But that's not her sole work. So the message for you, Holly, after all of that, follow your dreams, follow your soul's avocation, follow the path of your soul, and not everyone is going to understand it or embrace it or welcome it or love it. But, but your soul knows, your soul knows. And at the end of our days, we're not really too concerned about what people thought. We're concerned about whether or not we did the work of our soul. There you go. Hello, Michelle. Yep, Kellyanne, I did. That was your message. I did read it. Doggone it. <clears throat> Wouldn't you know? I'm not certain which one it was. Maybe one of you will remember which one that I drew for Kellyanne. Yeah, I know. I love to cook. <laughs> You are doing good in your life. Are you kidding me right now? Already. Here we go. Carla Joe. It is the grizzly bear. It's the grizzly bear. Yes, yeah, stay focused, Holly. <clears throat> stay focused. And we know that Mato Oyate, the bear nation, oftentimes not always represents our ancestors. Carla Jo, the message for you is that your ancestors are gathering. They are gathering. And I'm going to leave that right there for you. There's a gathering of ancestors around you <laughs> in beautiful, deep, meaningful teachings and ways. Yeah. Hello, Nellie. Mervyn Kelly. I think that class is almost sold out as well in August. Stones and Crystals. Yeah, it's fantastic. All right. Can hardly wait. All right, let me go in here and take a little look. Hello, Kayla. Deeper the roots, the higher the branches. That's right. Katrina. Good morning, Katrina. This one is for you. Oh, I love this card. It's the mountain lion. The mountain lion. The mountain lion says this, Katrina. I know who I am. I walk firmly along my path. I know who I am. The mountain lion represents the power and the prowess of the, both the male and the female. It's about being in balance and truly knowing, understanding who we are. We kind of had a little chuckle in the kitchen on Easter about, you know, at one time I was just kind of kooky mom. Yes, I worked at the newspaper during the day, so I had a responsible corporate job wearing pumps and tailored suits and all of those good kinds of things and pearls and all of that. And when I wasn't at my corporate job, and sometimes even at my corporate job, because everybody just knew me for who I am, I was just like, oh, that's mom and mom stuff. 
And now all of a sudden, the young ones who are now adults with their own homes and their own families are saying, Mom, help, help. Got a phone call last night, a kind of a panicked phone call from my son. Mom, something happened here in our home, and it's one of those things that cannot be explained any other way than it's one of those things. And so I had a long talk with my son and his half side Amber, last evening about embracing who, who they are as spiritual people. And so, Katrina, the whole message in this is you know who you are. Walk in who you are. Be confident in who you are. Have you ever met anybody who really isn't very confident in who they are? So your confidence in who they are wanes and waffles. If somebody isn't confident in who they are, I'm not very confident in who they are, which is why, as Carla Jo says, I'm really good at pushing people out of their comfort zone to help them become confident in who they are, because that's how we move forward on the spiritual path. And so if I had been lacking in confidence all those years ago, raising all those children who are now grown people with responsible jobs, uh, I wouldn't be in a place to help them now. Mom, something happened and it's not explainable by... <laughs> yeah. Mom, how could that possibly have happened? Okay. There you are. You know who you are, Katrina. Walk in that. Michelle, this is for you. Michelle, it is the gargoyle. Oh, I love the gargoyle teaching. Victory is yours. The defender of light is the gargoyle, the teaching of the gargoyle. I overcome life's challenges with wisdom and ease. This is a card of victory. This is a card that says, Michelle, you got this. Out of the darkness and into the light you go. Victory, defender of light. It acknowledges you as a healer and a light bringer and a light bearer. It's a potent card, the gargoyle. You're welcome, Katrina. Yeah, so we have to be confident in who we are. How do we become confident? Well, educating ourselves, knowing who we are, not being who we're not, not saying what we don't know. Don't say what you don't know and don't be who you're not. Those are pretty good rules to, to live by. Rob is saying, I tried to be normal. Me too. It didn't work out very well. So I just decided to follow the path of my soul. <laughs> oh, goodness. You are welcome, Michelle. And thank you for being a defender and the bringer of light. It's not always easy because sometimes, right, the brightest lights are called into the darkest of places. It just happens that way. Hey, Nicole Werner. Good to see you there. Elise. This one is for you. It is the angel Ariel. Ariel, I love Ariel. Ariel says this, get your butt outside. Get outside, Elise. Hug a tree. Get out into the great outdoors with your feet on terra firma, right there on Grandmother Earth, and connect with her. Grandmother Unchi is calling you to spend time outdoors under the great cathedral of life. I am one with all of nature. I am one with Mother Earth. We are. Every day I go out into the enchanted forest. Every day. Rain, sleet, sunshine, snow. Hotter than Hades. I have to be outside. I'm like that. I also don't like shoes on my feet. I'm a flip-flop person. I'm not a flip-floppy person. I like to wear flip-flops. Anybody who knows me knows I'm not a waffler or a flip-flopper. <laughs> but I do love my flip-flops. I like the feeling of being free and connected. Yeah, retiring from the newspaper and retiring those pumps, the Evan Picone pumps. Oh, it was a day of liberation in 2012. No more nylons, no more pumps, no more tailored suits. Yeah, so get out there. All right. <laughs> Cindy Lynn, that's I like Ryan. I like him. Tree hugging is good. 
It is good. It's good for the soul, good for the trees too. It certainly is. All right. Nellie, Mervyn, Kelly. Aw, thank you for that, Katie. We love you too, just the way that you are. Oh, and everybody, by the way, Tuesday reminder, please do put in the thread here what you've got going on. If you have a class coming up, if you have an event coming up, put your website in there. Tuesday mornings is about community, getting to know one another. It was fun on Saturday at Carla Joe's class for some people to finally get to meet each other from Tuesday mornings. Oh, so that's what you look like. That's who you are. It's fun to meet you. And uh, even more funner to know what we've got going on. Nellie, Mervyn Kelly will be here from the beautiful land of the United Kingdom with Tracy Civic from the beautiful land of Traverse City, Michigan in August to teach about stones and crystals. So Nellie, Mervyn Kelly. There's so much to learn from Mervyn, honestly. Okay, Mervyn, it's a dragon. And it is the air dragon. The air dragon bids the question, asks the question, what are you creating with your thoughts? What are you creating with your thoughts? And are you creating with your thoughts in a way that infuses both your heart and your mind? Heart and mind working together. What are you creating with your thoughts? Okay, so this is also about thoughts. But more than that, I want to say that I want to use the word passions with you, Mervyn, about being passionate with your thoughts. And that it's okay to be passionate with your thoughts. And here's the reason that I'm saying that, Mervyn, is because I'm seeing you in my mind's eye. And I'm seeing something of a chain wrapped around your brain or your thoughts. Like sometimes you're really afraid to express your thoughts passionately. And the air dragon is saying, free your mind. And express yourself passionately. Not just politely, passionately. I hope that that makes sense to you. Margaret Spooner, you beautiful thing. This one is for you. It is Metatron. Your life is transforming in beautiful ways and ancient esoteric teachings are coming to you at this time. Pay attention. Pay attention. You might also begin the study of Kabbalah, the Sephirot. And I would highly urge you to take a look into the sacred, sacred geometry of Metatron's cubes, uh, Margaret. Take a look at what that represents, Metatron's cube, the teaching of alchemical teaching, sacred geometry of it. Really take a deep look into Metatron's cube. That's what I feel like I want to say to you. Hey, Barbie Cornell. We are all thinking of you. As you know, Barbie, we send our love. The Francisco family every morning, you and your mom, every evening, you and your mom are uh, in our prayers here at this time. Okay, and this card is for you, Barbie. And your beautiful mom this is the Archangel Raphael came to the top here for you. Peace is in, within me and I am at peace. Peace is within me. I am at peace. The Archangel Saint Raphael is with you every moment of every millisecond um, of time with you and around you. And in fact, I... I've not ever been to your home, but I do see on the inner screen, and you also are ca catching them too. It's like flashes of light, 
flashes of light. There are lots and lots of angels in your house, angels of light at this time. Lots of angels of light at this time. But I think that you're already seeing them, as are your four leggeds. Oh, Nellie is saying, that's a fact, Dana. As always, you reveal the truths that can be difficult to look at. Thank you. Well, time to get passionate, Nellie. Time to get passionate. There you go. Robin McCarthy. Robin, this one is for you, my love. Oh, it's the donkey. I love the donkey. The donkey says this, it's really great to serve and to be of service, but it's even better to know when to say no. And not only that, it's okay to say no. We don't always have to say yes just to be the nice person, to be the polite person, to be the person that we want. You know, I just want everybody to like me, so I'm always just going to say yes. The donkey says it's great to say yes, but it's also important and good to learn to say no. Not at this time, whatever that is for you. It's okay to say no, Robin. Yeah. Yes, Margaret, that is part of the study of Kabbalah. Yeah, absolutely. And for some reason, it seems to be really at the forefront this morning is what I want to say about that. Very much at the forefront. Tracy Civic, it is the angel Chamuel, Chamuel, angel of love. I am a living expression of the eternal light of love. I welcome love into my life. I welcome love into my life. Sometimes it's self-love. Sometimes it's love for another, love for passion. And oftentimes, Chamuel comes to us to say, it's time to work on all that love that's still rolling around in there that's no longer useful. It's no longer nourishing. It's no longer healthy. Time to let go of unloving love that may still be in our psyche, in our heart, in our memories, whatever it is. But this is a time to work on your love. And to understand that Chamuel is walking with you. Yes. Very much with you. Feel a very deep presence on Chamuel in your new office space, Tracy. Barbie, thank you. And yes, I can see and feel the angels and family members waiting for mom. Even my brother helped with pictures by tossing a picture frame at me. Aw, the family gathers. Thank you for sharing that with us, Barbie. Many of us, you know, I know your mom. Many of us have met your mom at a variety of things, whether it's Gathering Thunder Foundation or uh, here at the School of Sacred Studies. And we're sending lots and lots of love. And our loved ones do gather. The angels gather. And those that have gone before us, the ancestors, they gather. I'm curious, is your mom aware is uh, your mom aware of the gathering? Is she able to express that at this time? I know that hospice is there with you at this time, those beautiful hospice angels. Yeah. All right. Julie Hedges. It is the angel Toth. I am whole and healthy, says Toth. I set stable boundaries and allow the flow of loving thoughts to enter my mind. A healthy mind and spirit helps to create a healthy body and balanced existence. The angel Toth asks you to pay attention to the thoughts, foods, beverages, and situations that you allow to enter your life. Give yourself the gift of loving words, healthy foods, and nourishing relationships that will magically create a life of wholeness that is part of your divine design. Toth. Yeah, boy, sometimes we need to remember that this temple that we are housed in, right, 
needs some care and nurturing as well. And that also includes our mental body, our spiritual body. Yeah. Uh, Barbie is saying she was calling for my dad all night and she mentioned my brother's name the other day. Good. She knows. Bless her heart. Thank you for sharing that with us, Barbie. You're doing a beautiful job, by the way. Doing a beautiful job. One of the most difficult jobs in the world is being a spirit doula. And at the same time, yeah. at the same time. Interesting, because just as we're talking about this, Barbie, uh, I can hear John Denver singing, Take Me Home, Country Roads, downstairs. I have 70s folk music playing downstairs. Marianne Molika, I need a card to repel nasty people, she's saying. Oh, no. No. <laughs> okay. This is perfect. Nathaniel. Nathaniel. Nathaniel says, I'm fired up about life and I am joyful in my existence. This is about <laughs> joy. And getting back on the magic carpet of joy. <clears throat> so, <laughs> to repel nasty people. One of the ways that we naturally repel nasty people is to be joyful. Ever notice that? And everybody? Nasty people don't necessarily like to be in the presence of joy. Laughter self-confidence, whatever it happens to be. The more joyful we are, the more confident we are in our joy, in our passion. Nasty people, crabby people, they really don't want to be any part of that. So bring in your joy, Mary and Malika, because I know you've got a lot of it. You've got a great sense of humor. And uh, bring in the joy. Joy is an amazing repeller of nastiness. Cheryl. Ah, uh, she's having a problem staying tuned in. Okay, well, Cheryl, it is, it is the rainbow serpent. The rainbow serpent teaching says this, it is time to awaken from your slumber. This is a card that says, well, I'm just going to read it. Each of us is born with gifts and talents dreams and passions, potential and opportunities for growth. And yet in our human condition, we can fall asleep at the wheel of life. It's time to awaken from your slumber, Cheryl, and to bring your unique light to life. The world is waiting. I celebrate the fullness of my being, says the rainbow serpent. This is about being who you are. Acting upon your gifts and talents, shining them, being fully you, being all of you, not just who you think people want to see, but being all of you. Jesse Jess, good to have you in the house again. Cheryl Colley, Cheryl Colley, this one is for you. It's the Halls of a Menti card from the teachings or the uh, ancient Egyptian empowerment deck, the halls of Amenti. I was in the beginning, I became and I live on. This is about shedding your old coat, letting go of the past, past hurts, things that are weighing you down. The hall of Amenti card says, let go of anything that is weighing your heart down, keeping your soul prisoner, and it is time to come out into the sunshine and shine anew. So this is a card of letting go and embracing what is. It's a beautiful card. It is about coming out of the tomb and leaving in the tomb whatever is no longer necessary or nourishing to the soul. I love that card. All right. And I know that you have the deck, too. So I think you'll enjoy reading the fullness of that card, Cheryl. Lisa Beldeen, this one is for you. Oh, it is the Thunderbird, Wakia Oyate, 
It's the Thunderbird card. The Thunderbird card represents the path. And the message for you, Lisa, is stay on your path. Despite any winds of opposition, self-doubt, or the temptation to give up, it is important for you to stay on course at this time. Continue to walk along the good red road. That's right. Stay the course, Lisa. Sometimes people, places, and things, thought situations can almost knock us off of our path or question our path. The Thunderbird, who is the all-seeing eye, says, stay on your path. Even in the face of life's obstacles, I remain firmly on my path. There you go. Delgadillo, Kamael, Aries, the assertive. Love this card. <laughs> I am supported by the universe. Be confident in who you are and, Delgadillo, your ability to decide the course of your own life. Isn't it amazing how we can acquiesce to what we feel others would like us to do, who others would like us to be? Kamayel says, be confident in your ability to decide the course of your own life. It is your life to decide. Be confident. Be joyful in who you are. Yeah, sometimes we can just let the opinion of other people throw us way off course. No, no, no. Kayla. Kayla, this one is for you. <laughs> you are welcome. Kayla, it is the Cocopelli. Cocopelli represents fertility. Represents fertility. This is a fertile time in your life, Kayla. Gratitude is the word for this messenger from mythology. Cocapelli represents a plentiful harvest. The seeds that you have sown are now growing fully to fruition. Give thanks for the abundance in your life, Kayla, and for the abundance that you are about to receive. <laughs> Rochelle, this one is for you. It is the hawk. Cheta Oyate, the hawk says this, fear not, fear not. I see things with great clarity. I have nothing to fear. Everything is in divine timing. Everything is in divine order. All is well and all manner of things are well. And the hawk says, fear not. Fearlessness is called for at this time. That is a potent card and a potent ally in spirit. Yeah. Oh, thank you for that, Rob. Yeah. Yes, I certainly will. Well, we are in a Mercury retrograde and sometimes things do freeze up. And so we just have to go with the flow of it and we all help each other out. There we go. Jesse Jess, the Archangel Saint Mikael, Michael. It's a card of balance. It's a card of courage. Mikael, we call him Michael, is walking with you, lending you a hand of courage. The eagle, soar above, rising above, transcending. The Archangel Saint Michael. That's a big one. Mikael represents the four sides of the pyramid, balance of the body, mind, spirit, and emotions. Jacqueline Coster. I bet you thought I forgot you, but I didn't. Spirit said it's time for Jacqueline. Oh, it's the centaur from the spirit of mythology empowerment deck. One of my favorites, the centaur. Healer, heal thyself, says the centaur. The time has come for you, Jacqueline, 
to take aim at healing any areas of your body, mind, spirit, and emotions that are out of balance. Proper rest, play, nutrition, thoughts, exercise, and actions toward wellness are now called for. Healer, heal thyself. There you go, Jacqueline. This is about self-care, taking care of you. Rather than taking care of everybody around you and being busy with that, the centaur says, healer, heal thyself. The centaur is the divine doctor who is saying to you, it's time for you to take care of you. <laughs> How's that? Right? <clears throat> Rochelle, this one is for you, Rochelle. It is the archangel, Saint Uriel. Uriel says, I forgive myself and others by forever giving love. Uriel says this, I love my perfect imperfection. Right? This is a card of forgiving, of forgiveness, of understanding. I forgive myself and others by forever giving love. I love my perfect imperfection. So perhaps a time of meditation today with the Archangel Saint Uriel is being called for. Mary Ellen Hagen. This one is for you. Oh, it is the water dragon from the spirit of mythology. The water dragon says this, I am awake, I am aware. Water dragon says to us, pay attention to your intuition, pay attention to your dreams. You know what you know. Pay attention to the waters of your psyche. Very important at this time to be awake and to be aware. <clears throat> the water dragon. So pay attention to your instincts at this time. Very important for you to do that right now. All right, let me take a last look here. Cindy Gray. Hey, Cindy. <clears throat> oh, I love this one. Shamshiel. I love this, Cindy. Shamshiel says this, I am free to dance at the party called life. Boy, we can get really serious about life, can't we? I'm a quadruple Scorpio, so I can sometimes get a little too serious. A little too serious about things. And then I remember what Shamshiel says. You know, we came here not to just always be serious and pious and all of that. We came here to have some fun. This is a card of fun, Cindy. This is a card that says get out there and dance. This life is not just meant to be drudgery and work. It's also meant to get out there and have some fun and some joy. It is also an affirmation and an acknowledgement of the fun and the joy that you, Cindy, bring to other people. It just is. So it's all about fun. All about fun. Okay. Who else do I need to pull a card for? Anybody? Please let me know. All right, Janice Francisco, this one is for you. It is the hippocamp. The hippocamp says this, go with the flow, ride with the tide. I think we talked about that at Easter dinner, actually. <laughs> go with the flow, ride with the tide. This is not the time to make waves. Take a deep breath, exhale, and trust in what your timeless soul and the creator of the infinite universes have planned for you. I did draw one for you, Robin. I sure did. Yes, ma'am. So, Janice, go with the flow. <laughs> You're welcome, Cindy. All right, Kevin. Kevin. Kevin Spencer. This one is for you. All right. The scarab, the scarab, the transformer. Yeah, it's time to celebrate. This is a card of celebration. It is time to bask in the sun and revel in all that you have accomplished. This is a card of triumph. 
A divine acknowledgement of all of your hard work, study, practice, and determination to walk the path of light. True. Prepare for the next level of knowledge and wisdom teachings that are being presented to you. This is a card of passage, rite of passage to the next level. Time to celebrate. All right, Nicole Werner. You beautiful thing. Nicole, this one is for you. It's the Sasquatch. I love the teaching of the Sasquatch. The Sasquatch is known as the gentle giant from the stars. Gentle giant. I'm going to read this to you, Nicole. In the vast expanse of time, our earth journey is rapid and fleeting. Living life with a heart that knows the value of quiet compassion ensures that we leave enormous tracks of loving beauty in the lives of everything that we encounter. When we walk on Grandmother Earth in gentleness and humility, we come closer to spirit in every way. Gentleness with yourself and others is called for at this time. Gentleness with yourself and others. Sasquatch says, walk gently. Yes, Robin, it was all about saying no. That it's okay to say no. In fact, it's good to say no sometimes. We have to say no sometimes. There we are. Thank you all for joining me this morning. Sophia. Sophia. Hello, Ashley. Sophia. This one is for you. It is the Swan Maiden, who represents the Valkyrie Shield Maiden. Valkyrie Shield Maiden. You are divinely protected. Sophia, I'm going to read this to you. You have lived through many hard-won, sometimes sorrowful battles, both in your physical and spiritual life. The Swan Maiden joyfully acknowledges your loyalty to the path of light that you have chosen to walk. <laughs> and now heralds a time of great prosperity for you. Be open to receiving the blessings that are coming to you, Sophia, and the way in which they are bestowed. And your daily mantra from the Spirit of Mythology Empowerment Deck Swan Maiden is this. I am a warrior of light and hope. That's a big one, Ashley. It is the Wakiam, the Thunderbird, the Thunder Nation. I am one with all in the sacred hoop of life. For you, this card represents growth. This is a time of growth for you. Allow the growth to happen. The ancient form known as the Wakion or the thunder being prompts you to remember that life is a wondrous circle in which all things are passing and yet have always been and will always be. In the sacred hoop of life, everything is our brother and our sister. The Wakion thanks you, Ashley, for honoring all life forms and for walking gently upon Grandmother Earth. It's a great card. You are a beautiful spoke in the glorious medicine wheel of life, and we are one. And I just want you to know, uh, as I'm reading this, Ashley, I'm a huge Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young fan, and the song that's playing downstairs in my living room is uh, Teach Your Children Well. <laughs> I love that song. There you go. Melissa, this one is for you. Last card of the day as we are wrapping it up. Melissa. It is the wolf. Oh, well, of course it is. The wolf is the teacher. 
I love this. So downstairs is Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young singing, teach the children well, teach your parents well, all of that. And uh, the mantra of the wolf is this. My life is my legacy. I teach the children well. So you can't even make this stuff up. You can't make it up. So Melissa, this is about owning, owning the teacher within you, the wise woman. Understanding that you are a teacher and owning that, embracing it, walking with it. At all times, we are teaching others. My life is my legacy. Teach the children well. <laughs> okay. With that, everyone, thank you for joining me today. It's been a beautiful Tuesday. Uh, remember to shine your light. It's important to shine your gifts and talents upon the earth plane. So... With that, everyone, blessings be. Get out there and shine your light as only you can shine it. Have a beautiful day.